The most powerful drive in the ascent of man is his pleasure in his own skill. He loves to do what he does well, and having done it well, he loves to do it better. You see it in his science, you see it in the magnificence with which he carves and builds, the loving care, the deity, the effrontery. The monuments are supposed to commemorate kings and religions heroes, dogmas, but in the end the man they commemorate is the builder. I could not end this essay without taking you to my favorite monument, built by a man who had no more scientific equipment than the Gothic Mason. These are the Watts Towers in Los Angeles, built by an Italian called Simon Rodia. He came from Italy to the United States at the age of 12. And then at the age of 42, having worked as a tile setter and general repairman, he suddenly decided in his back garden to build these tremendous structures. Out of chicken wire, bits of railway tie, steel rods, cement, seashells, bits of broken glass and tile, of course, anything that he could find or that the neighborhood children could bring him. It took him 33 years to build them. He never had anyone to help him because he said, I never knew what to do next myself. He finished them in 1954. He was 75 by then. He gave the house, the garden and the towers to a neighbor and simply walked out. I had in mind to do something big, Simon Rodia had said, and I did. You have to be good, good or bad, bad to be remembered. He'd learnt his engineering skill as he went along by doing and by taking pleasure in the doing. Of course, the city building department decided that the towers were unsafe. And in 1959, they ran a test on them. This is the tower that they tried to pull down. I'm happy to say that they failed. The tool that extends the human hand is also an instrument of vision. It reveals the structure of things and makes it possible to put them together in new imaginative combinations. But of course, the visible is not the only structure in the world. There is a fine structure below it. And the next step in the ascent of man is to discover a tool to open up the invisible structure of matter.